Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast, your trusted source for HIV testing with access to over 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. For more information, check the link in the description below or the bio section of our channel. You know, for decades, the idea of an effective HIV vaccine has felt, well, almost impossible. But what if a classic, totally proven approach to making vaccines could finally be the key? Today, we're diving into SAV001, a vaccine candidate that's stirring up some serious hope by doing exactly that. So, that's the big question, right? The one that's driven researchers for years through countless setbacks and disappointments. But with SAV001, scientists are asking this question again, but this time with a real tangible sense of optimism. Let's get into why. So, why is a vaccine the ultimate goal? Well, to get that, you really have to understand what HIV does. It's this incredibly clever virus that goes right after our immune system, the very system designed to protect us. And yeah, modern treatments are amazing at keeping the virus in check, but a preventative vaccine? That's what could truly, finally end the epidemic. All right, so what makes SAV001 different? How is it trying to succeed where so many others have hit a wall? Well, the answer really lies in the work of Dr. Chilyong Kong and his team. They basically took a step back and looked at a classic, time-tested recipe for vaccine success. Okay, so here's the core idea. It's what's called a killed whole virus vaccine. And the concept? It's actually pretty brilliant in its simplicity. You take the entire HIV-1 virus, you genetically tweak it so it can't cause an infection, and then you chemically kill it. What you're left with is basically the perfect training dummy for your immune system. It looks exactly like the real enemy, but it has zero danger. And this is a huge shift in strategy. See, a lot of the previous attempts tried to teach the immune system to fight back by just showing it one tiny little piece of the virus, a single protein, for example. But SAV001, it gives the immune system the whole puzzle, the complete blueprint of the enemy, so it can build a much smarter, more comprehensive defense. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds like some brand new radical idea. But here's the thing, it's not. While it's new for HIV, this whole killed virus method is a rock solid, well-established concept. It's the same exact approach that gave us some of the most successful vaccines in history. We're talking polio, hepatitis A, even the annual flu shot. It's a proven winner, now being aimed at one of our toughest targets ever. So, the theory is fantastic, but does it actually work in real people? That's the million dollar question. Let's dig into the journey SAV001 has been on so far. And man, this has been a long road. The first super important human trial? That was finished way back in 2013. But look at what's been happening recently. Things are speeding up. Just in late 2024, they hit a huge milestone. They figured out how to optimize the vaccine for mass production. That's setting the stage for much bigger trials to get going. And the results from that first human trial? Honestly, they were incredibly promising. First off, and most importantly, it was safe. But here's the kicker. It actually triggered the right kind of immune response. People in the trial started making something called broadly neutralizing antibodies. Just think of these as master keys, antibodies that are so powerful they can recognize and shut down lots of different strains of HIV. And that is absolutely critical for an HIV vaccine to work. Okay, so proving it's safe and that it gets the immune system fired up in a small group, that's a huge win. But the next challenge is a big one. It's all about scale. It's about getting this thing ready for the global stage. To get to that next level, the trial has to get a lot bigger. So how many people are we talking about for the upcoming phase two trial? 600. And just to put that number into perspective, let that sink in for a second. That initial safety trial had just 33 participants. The next one is gonna have 600 HIV negative people. A jump that massive shows you just how confident the researchers are feeling about this vaccine's potential. This is pretty much the standard playbook for any vaccine. You've got to go through these stages. SAZ001 has already cleared phase one. Check. Now it's heading for the next major hurdle, phase two, which is all about seeing how effective it is. If it passes that, it's onto the massive phase three trials and then hopefully approval. So this brings us to the final stretch. The big question is, what happens next? What are the last few hurdles standing between this really promising candidate and, well, all of us? Really, Everything is riding on these next larger trials. 
If SAV001 keeps showing that it's safe and that it works, this won't just be some new drug, it would be a game changer, a tool that could revolutionize how we prevent HIV infections from ever starting in the first place. And that right there brings us full circle, back to the big question we started with. We have a proven scientific method, we've got strong early data, and there's a clear path forward. For the first time in a long time, the hope for an HIV vaccine feels real. The whole world is watching to see if Save001 really is the breakthrough we've all been waiting for.